Hi folks, my name is Mr. Caden and I'm going to be walking you through this lesson, uh, learning to record with Audacity. Uh, and hopefully you're using this in a Spanish class or somewhere else where you're looking to record some audio. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to learn how to record audio and save the recording. We're going to use a program called Audacity. And then we're going to actually hand in that, uh, that assignment when you're done to the Spanish uh, department Dropbox. So we'll start by recording with Audacity. We're going to start with that and then you'll learn how to save and hand it in and then you guys will just get recording. So let's go. All right, so recording with Audacity. The first thing to know is how to get to Audacity. So here we're gonna to go to the Start menu. We're gonna to go to Programs. We're gonna to go to MISC and then click Audacity. So Start, Programs, and then a little miscellaneous there, M-I-S-C, Audacity. And Audacity is gonna pop right up for you. It should look like this, okay? Now to record something with Audacity, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is press the big red button. And there we go, we're recording something. And you can tell that we're recording something because you can see the sound waves appearing on the screen. And if you want to play it back, you can hit this green triangle to play it back. And you should hear yourself. Okay. Uh, if you are too quiet or if these are too small, then you should think about turning up your microphone. You can control the volume of the microphone from here. Okay. Uh, and if you really don't like what you recorded, you play it back and you're like, man, I sound terrible. Do I always sound like that? Then you can just click this X right here and goodbye. So again, you just press the red button and you record your stuff. Afterwards, you can hit stop and that will absolutely stop the recording. If you hit pause, you can't do some other things. So make sure you just hit stop and then uh, listen again to make sure it's good. And then when you're all done, you just have to save it. But if you don't like it, you can always click that X. Okay, so what are we doing next? We're learning how to save and handing it in. So that's how you record. You open up Audacity by going to the Start menu, Programs, MISC, Audacity, and you use that big red button to record and press the Stop button when you're done. And now we're going to learn how to save and hand it in, and then you guys will get started. So to save it, uh, a lot of people have the instinct to go to File and then hit Save Project or Save Project As, but that's a bad idea. Uh, because that's actually kind of like saving the thing. We don't want to save it. We want to export it as a WAV file, which is like a regular sound file. You could put it on your iPod if you wanted. These projects for Audacity are like more complicated types of file. So we can click Export as WAV, W-A-V. And then we don't want to put this in our My Documents folder because it's too big. So let's just save it on the desktop. And this one is by Mr. Caden. So I'm going to put it on my desktop with my name so my teacher can tell who did it. Okay. And then the next part, this is the most important part. Okay, you're going to open up actually Internet Explorer. It's very important that it's Internet Explorer. And then you're going to go to phaspanish.wordpress.com, which is the Spanish website. That's phaspanish.wordpress.com. You've probably been here before. And then when you want to hand it in, you go to click this link to access the audio Dropbox. So again, we go to Internet Explorer. We go to phaspanish.wordpress.com, and then you click this link for the audio drop box. When you click that link, up should pop a little window right here that should say Spanish audio at the top. Okay, if it doesn't pop up, make sure you're using Internet Explorer. Okay, great. Now we can hand in our assignments by simply dragging and dropping the file that we made before, which is on our desktop, and placing it into the place where it's supposed to go. So let's say I'm in Ms. Nolette's class. I can double click there. And I can simply drag the Mr. Caden file right in there, and I just handed it in. Okay, so it's really simple. Once you save your file, just go to that website, open up this special window, and drag your file right into the place to hand it in. And then you're all done. So we have learned how to record a file by pressing that red button, stopping it with the stop button. We learned how to save it, which is to export the file as a WAV file and not just to save it. And then you guys are now ready to get recording. All right, so get going.